Hello everyone, Kibler here, and uh, we have finally learned that the mini set coming for the Alterac Valley expansion is Anixia's Lair, which, if you're coming from a World of Warcraft background, like I am, makes a lot of sense. Right, you adventure, you level up, you hit max level, and the very first raid zone that you tend to go to is Anixia's Lair. And what's in Anixia's Lair? Well, Anixia, for one. What is Anixia? Anixia, as we all know, is a dragon. But not only is Anixia a dragon, Anixia has been secretly pulling the strings behind so many things that have happened as Lady Katana Prestor in the court of Stormwind. We already had a little bit of inklings of this earlier with Katrana Prestor, revealed in an earlier set, turning your entire deck into dragons, but she was not working alone. It turns out that Katrana Prestor, a.k.a. Anixia, was also working with Kazakus, a.k.a. Kazakusan, who was also, secretly, a dragon. It's kind of shady. You know, all these people who are secretly dragons... Nixia, Lady Prestor, Kazakus, Kazakasan, Reno, Renagos. I can't really trust these people who have this strange affinity for dragons and treasures and things like that. You suspect. You suspect. But regardless, Kazakasan. In fact, the car we will be discussing today. And what do dragons like? Well, dragons like dragons and dragons like treasure. Let's take a look at Kazakusa. So what does this card mean? Your deck contains only dragons for minions. You get to replace your deck with a deck full of treasures. And these treasures, they're not the dragon stock or helm that you might get from Anixia. No, no, no. These are the treasures that you get from duels. There are a wide array of different treasures that you can get uh, from Kazakusan, you can replace your deck much like Archivist Elysiana. And when you refer to a card and say this is a lot like Archivist Elysiana, probably brings back some bad memories for a lot of people because Archivist Elysiana was a card that generally was used in slow, controlling decks to just win the game via fatigue. You just ran out of your deck, shuffled a bunch more cards into your deck, boom, now you have some hopefully Stormwind champions and whatever else to beat up your opponent or just mostly not get fatigued with. But with treasures, these duels treasures that you get to replace your deck with, with Kazakusan, you can do some incredibly powerful things. You don't have access to every treasure in duels, but you do have access to a lot of them. Like, well, locusts. If you're thinking, looking for a card that can end the game and not just sit back and wait and hope your opponent dies to fatigue, Locusts is a way to do it. You can also get, oh, look, I'm falling behind, I'm dying. You can get Hyper Blaster. You can just go and kill your opponent's things and set up to win the game with some of your other treasures, like perhaps Book of the Dead. Maybe you're looking to build a big board and you want something like Anoyo Horn. Or maybe there's a big minion on the opposing side you need to find a way to answer, like Krusty the Crustacean. Or maybe you have a big board that you want to be able to do something with and you can use something like Canoptic Jars. There's all kinds of these powerful treasures that we're going to show you all, but you can't really figure out exactly what you're going to be getting. You, know, you could end the game with something like the Locust, something like Embers of Ragnaros. You could even get both the Hilt and Blade of Keldalar and combine them for Keldalar itself. There's just so many different crazy powerful things that you can get from these combinations of treasures, that we're not talking about a card that you're looking to wait until you've run out of cards in your deck and, and just kind of sit back and, and, and fatigue your opponent to death. No, this is a card that you may want to play as quickly as possible. Maybe you're playing a deck that only has dragons, and maybe you're playing a deck that only has Kazakusan as your only creature. Maybe you're playing a priest deck that's looking to use Insight to draw this every single time, play it as quickly as possible, and boom, your deck is all about playing treasures as quickly as you can. So the sort of wide variety of, of different effects these treasures have, as we were saying, as well as just the, you know, the different game states you might find yourselves in when you actually play Kazakusan, can really lead to some tremendously ridiculous things happening, which is the reason that this is kind of the perfect card for someone like me. You know, I love, I love dragons, I love treasures, I love these singleton strategies, 
Maybe I'm secretly a dragon too. Hmm. Who knows? But regardless, this is one of my favorite cards that I have seen in a very long time. I am incredibly hyped to play with this, and I hope you are too. So I am looking forward to venturing into Nixia's lair and uh, finding out if anyone else is secretly a dragon.